Hi everyone, um, I'm going to be talking to you today about my career in finance or accountancy. Um, I have a set of questions that I need to answer, so I'm going to be referring to my laptop to check the questions. Um, but anyway, here it goes. Um, so my name is Olufumilola Johnson. Um, most people call me Lola or uh, LJ. Um, I'm currently uh, I currently work as a uh, finance lead uh, head of the finance department in a company called uh, Cafe Pod. Um, they're a coffee brand that make um, Nespresso compatible capsules and uh, roasting ground beans. Um, but I'm also kind of in transition as well. Um, so I will be working for a company called Genesis Group Nigeria, um, working as an executive general manager for their restaurants division. Um, and I'll just give you a little bit of background about my education. Uh, so I started off <laughs> reception uh, to sort of year one. Um, in in the UK and then my parents moved us back to Nigeria and I was there for and I spent the rest of my primary school there and then obviously all my secondary school so I went to a boarding school um, and then I moved I did actually do university for a few months and then I moved back to um, Nigeria uh, to the UK sorry um, to do my degree um, so I decided to study accounting, but it wasn't necessarily my first choice. I actually wanted to do um, uh, law, but my dad um, discouraged me from doing it. But when I was about sort of 11, 12, I watched a movie called The Tycoon. And it was about a guy who owned this big, big massive business empire. And while, and he died. And in his will, he had said that he wanted his wife um, to take over the business. Now, this movie was set in the, the 60s, 70s, and back then, leadership and women were kind of not compatible. It wasn't seen like the thing in thing to do, you know. Um, so, But I found it very intriguing how she was able to um, manoeuvre her way around the board, um, how she was able to play the politics and eventually get everyone on board. Obviously, it took time and she failed a few times, but I was just intrigued at such a young age to see how she persevered um, and how she, you know, influenced people to get what she what she wanted. And I thought, hmm, I'd like to be that woman. So I thought when I was going to uni to choose my subject, I said, I'll do business. But then I also knew that computing was the future back then. So I kind of wanted to incorporate some technology into my degree. So I decided to do business and uh, and computing, um, which kind of the computing bit was a little bit of a disaster, even though I was fascinated by the subject. Um, I didn't do very well in my first year or in fact, in my first semester and I quickly <laughs> dropped it and I decided to pick up accounting. Now I've always had a love for numbers. Um, I remember in secondary school, uh, my friend and I would go to these extra lessons where they taught, um, further maths and even though a lot of the time i'm not quite sure if i understood what was being taught i just love the mystery of solving a problem and using numbers uh, mathematics to solve a problem and i just love the numbers so i thought you know um i picked up accountancy with business um and i picked up the side of accountancy which is called management accounting um and that side of stuff is quite interesting. Anyway, I've got to go back to the question and stay on point. So what is accountancy and how is it relevant in the world today, especially in the season of COVID-19? Mm. So accountancy is actually quite broad and it's under even a more broader remit called finance. Um, but essentially it's as the word said, accounting. It's accounting for the numbers that a business makes. So for the revenue, the profit, um, it's looking, accounting for the assets and the uh, liabilities of a company. Um, and there's essentially two main parts of 
accountancy. Um, one is sort of like the financial accounting audit side. Um, and usually people who do that tend to work for the four main four big, big four accounting firms like KPMG or PwC. Um, the other side is the management accounting side where you're basically working with a business um, to help them make decisions. So should we build a factory or should we buy the stuff um, from a third party or should we um, create a new line or should we move to a new supplier or should we do this marketing activity or um, should we take on this new um, customer? You know, you're always constantly making decisions and you're there to help the management um, navigate them through the uh, through through the decision making process um how does it help in terms of or how does it relate to covid hmm. basically accountancy cuts across everything so in any business organization whether it's um sales or or marketing or supply chain you've got an accountant and um, so in terms of covid accountants you'll see accountants have been very very busy all year trying to work out what's the new business model for the future how do we restructure our business to cope with maybe lockdown or to cope with the new ways people are shopping you know um, should we shut down the stores or should we increase prices or or should we move to a new supplier or should we uh, start importing or start exporting or should we even move into a different a revenue stream or something so it's you know it cuts across every single um uh, uh industry so you can work in in with a charity or you can work with a, with a government you can work in fashion you can work in transportation you can do anything because you can even do your own have your own business and audit other companies or you know even we're all our own little accountants at the end of the day I and mean, you all have you have your shop your your revenue at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month and you have to plan and budget so that's all really that's all part of what accounting is about um i, I already talked about the branches of accountancy um so the main ones are sort of finance, finance accounting and uh, management accounting. But finance also is like investments, uh, acquisitions and mergers. So you can work as an investment banker or you can work um, as a, an accountant that deals with buying and selling businesses. Um, so there's all kinds of different areas, but the two major areas are financial accounting and management accounting. Um, can a how do I know if uh, accounting is for me? Good question. I said to you that I had a love for numbers, and I still do. Um, so that's a must. You must love numbers. If you don't love numbers, um, don't even don't bother because there won't be too much writing. You're you're constantly, you know, looking at numbers, analyzing numbers. Tons and tons and tons. And you need to be comfortable with lots and lots of data and being able to manipulate that data, being able to form trends from that data, being able to advise the management on which way to go, being accurate. You have to have a lot of integrity um, with accounting. The other thing that um, you need to know or whether accountancy is for you is that you need to be comfortable with routine. Um, that's kind of plagued me over the years because I am so not a routine person. Um, I am so not routine. And you also need to be quite organized. Um, I'm also not organized. So I'm not, not the, well, I've made a successful career for myself in the accounting space. And I think finally, um, you have to be comfortable with ambiguity and uncertainty because a lot of accounting is about, um, assumptions so you want to open a new business or you want to open a new factory or you want to start a new line or start you know whatever or start a new brand um you have to make the assumptions oh um if we do this we will sell x uh, we will have x customers and x will cut y will cut customers will come back it's going to cost z um, and it's all assumptions and yes there's a there's some bit that say obviously that what has happened in the past and you might have some data points or some facts but what's happening in the past isn't always an indicator of what's going to happen in the future because you can have a covid 
which will completely blow your plans out of the water and then you have to start again so i can promise you every single accountant or finance person has been mega 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 busy you know trying to manage cash flow through this whole covid situation you know and just trying to make sure that the business stays afloat where, where they maybe had to lock down and trying to work with the banks to try and get um loans or trying to work with suppliers to try and get maybe better terms or it's just been it's been manic um how can finance career facilitate a move to another career hmm i've just done it so uh like i said if you work in sort of as a management accountant or a finance business partner sometimes they call it or finance manager um or business controller you end up working with the business and you because everything in the business culminates in finance so whether you're selling something whether you're marketing something whether you're buying something um every area of finance every area of the business culminates in finance so so therefore you know you you become part of the business you are the business you know you know every part of the business you know so um why not? Why not move to another area? But the good thing is, is now you know the business, you can work in the business as a non-finance, <clears throat> a non-finance person, but then you understand the implications of the decisions that you make. So whereas a non-finance person who's working in business is making decisions and the finance person has to say, hang on a minute, if you do this, it's going to happen. You know already. So you can make, you know, that makes the decision making a lot faster. Um, so absolutely, um, you can move from finance to another career. Now, what subjects do you have to do at uni? Well, if I'm honest, there really isn't any real pre prerequisites. So in school, um, I mean, if you do like economics or even accounting or business studies, it helps. Um, at uni, if you study business or accounting or economics, it helps. But it really isn't uh, a do or die thing. It's not a deal breaker because I've seen historians, physicists, chemists, uh, people who study philosophy, uh, psychology who've ended up being accountants. So it's actually, it's not a deal breaker. Um, most universities don't necessarily ask you for any specific subject, but it helps because it means that at least when you get into uni, you find it um, familiar. Um, what steps can I take to be relevant internationally? Your qualifications, um, absolutely. In fact, once you finish university or whatever pre-course you're going to be doing, the, the next thing you should be doing, or even if you don't go to university, the next thing you should be doing, finish university or whatever pre-course you're going to be doing, the, the next thing you should be doing, or even if you don't go to university, the next thing you should be doing is um looking at doing your qualifications you, you have to that's the that's that's the pinnacle even then you know better than doing your uh or more valuable than doing your masters i, I don't even think masters is, is worth doing um in in accountancy so just go and do your qualifications with sema you they have a partnership with the aicpa in uh America, so you automatically kind of get membership for that. You also automatically get membership for SIPFA as well, which is the public, the UK public finance and accounting body. Um, there's ACA for those who want to really stick to the sort of the um, financial accounting audit line. Um, and then there's ACCA, which is similar to SEMA, but has a more uh, emphasis on financial accounting as well. By the way, in terms of going to uni, my preference, at least my, from my experience now, and if I had a chance to do it again, I will not go to university, or at least I wouldn't go to university full time. I will take up a good apprenticeship um, and do it that way. And that way you get to learn on the job. Because no matter, I can promise you now, university does not set you up. For, for working, it doesn't. I mean, if you, if you get a part-time job, do maybe accounts receivable or uh, accounts payable, that's good, or finance assistant, that's good too. Um, and that's a way in. Um, and once you get in, you can start doing your exams from scratch and all of that. Um, the good thing with university, and when we talked about subjects, if you do do an account, account or business, you get some exemptions and you don't have to start all the exams from scratch. So, um, but if I'm honest, doing full-time uni, coming out with 30 grand worth of debt or 50 grand worth of debt, it's not worth it. 
do a good apprenticeship, either in one of the big fours or a nice, a good organization, start to learn on the job, they will sponsor your university. By the time you're done, you're qualified and you've got the experience. So you're, you know, you're made, basically. Um, have I got a favorite boss or mentor? Yes. My boss at Unilever, his name was Sudarshan Kasturi. Um, why do I think he was, he's, was inspiring? He always made sure that I had everything that I needed to do my job. He gave me, he believed in me and he gave me the stepping stone that I needed to sort of be where I am today, if I'm honest. Um, he, he believed in me. And I mean, the first time he went on holiday and he said, um, he put on his out of office that any any questions or queries, just direct them to to Lola. I was, ooh, I was... Uh, flabbergasted or surprised because I was quite new in the team as well and there'd been people who'd worked in the company for years and uh, probably had a lot more experience so the fact that he used me was quite shocking and it you know and he was the one who was pivotal in ensuring that I had gone to uh I went on expatriation to South Africa and all of that so he, yeah you know and he's he had a brain like a computer you know, by the way just a side to side thing um what's my favorite quote and why there's a story behind it. Um, it's actually from one of my dear friends. And the reason I like the quotes is because it's inspiring and it's helped me through some tough times, um, just helping me to hope and see beyond where I am. Uh, and the quote is just a phrase, actually, and it's just anything is possible. And um, she probably, she doesn't even feel that close or that precious about it like I do. But I do, I feel very, very uh, precious about that phrase. And now in my new team, I just tell, tell them all, anything is possible, anything is possible. Um, yeah, and then that's it. Uh, any other information that I'd like you to know? It's been interesting. I mean, I've been in the industry or in my career for, uh, for close to, how long was my daughter? Yeah, about 20 years. 20, 20, 21 years, because I pretty much started after, just three months after I had my first baby. Um, and that daughter of mine is 21 now. Um, and it's been exciting. I've worked in so many different places. I used to work for Ralph Lauren. Um, I used to get like sample clothes for like 50 pieces. My kids were get decked up in Ralph Lauren clothes. Um, I've worked in utilities. I've worked in the government. I've worked in FMCG and, you know, because you get to work in, you can work in all different areas of the business. You know, for example, if you work in marketing, you can, you can get to go to different marketing activities and whatnot. Um, if you work in supply chain, you might be able to get, go to see customer factories and, you know, get to travel a bit. Um, if you've worked in, uh, say, sales, you might get to go to like trade fairs abroad. You know, it's it's been quite exciting and because it's one career that cuts across every single uh industry you know the world's your oyster you know the world's at your feet because you can you can work in, in anything you know you can work in construction if, if that's what you would like to do you can work in broadcasting you know if you work in a tv company you can work where you work on different movies um you can, you know, it's it's so varied um, that you can have a very, 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 and I'm the kind of person that gets bored easily. So I've I've moved around a lot, and and it will help you. Accountancy is one of those careers that can help you to move around a lot. But just be sure and be comfortable, and know that you're gonna need to like the numbers, live, breathe, sleep, the numbers all the time. Um, and that's it for me, really. Um, it was nice talking to y'all. Bye.